Hello there everyone, so welcome to another episode of this Mordor campaign. We're still pushing through on Edelhaunt here in Kalimbo. And of course, we are trying to go once more against Karis Galimbo. Now they have a couple of Galimbo swordsmen and some Galimbo guard. No problem, we will face them. Uh, so far, Dolgodur will be protected because we are moving in a strong force uh, over there. Um, they won't have any orcs, which is kind of bad, but I might be able to recruit a couple more forces uh, for them. Um, in the meantime, I do have to keep up, or, or, well, not keep up, but just hold on a little bit on the unit productions because you know I have plenty of them right now and I don't need too much. No, I have one, two, three, four archers on this army. That's pretty much what I needed. So this army of the Uvata, the horseman, is going immediately over here to this Erek town. That's going to be probably my last uh, conquest over here from the Gondor lands. I'll leave the rest for uh, Harad, for, since, well, they captured Dol Amroth, which is kind of bad for me. Uh, but at least that makes them follow up. Ooh, there we go, Silver Elves. There we go. Okay, so change of plans. I'm gonna withdraw here. Yeah, they're gonna probably kill me. Yeah, probably they're gonna kill me. I don't know if I'm gonna fight this or L or whatever. Uh, might get a couple of uh, units if I fight it. Honestly, I might. Let me just see what it is. You know, I don't want to just make an odd result and lose too many, too much force here. Uh, I think I can, you know, hang on and get some uh, some deaths uh, on his army. So silver elves, well, I was wrong. Oh, they were still fighting. Up a hand in this Let's start the deployment. I'll certainly want them to strike at me with whatever they they can. Um, I'll have. The best position possible. Something like this. And let's wait for them. That's it. They will probably use some archers against me. So I'll just push forward and try to snipe one unit or another. Let me see. What is this composition for? Okay, these are... Oh, those are X-Men. Those are X-Men. Spearmen. They don't have any archers nearby that I can strike. Well, these spearmen and these other units, well, does it seem like he's going to push with, uh, you know, any forces that I can deal, uh, or any smaller forces? So I'll just hang on and make sure that we are defending. Let's move into shield from formation. Maybe that will make them survive a little bit longer. Let's go, come on. Let's go. That's it. Let's hold on over there at the children. That's perfect formation. Well, probably they will still fire a couple of shots. No problem, because we will still hang on. They'll strike me, that's, that's for sure. Let's see how better this one is. Yep. I just hope this is actually better because they will going to, they are going to surround me. I don't know if they will hang on on the morale, but still we might get a couple of kills here and there. Okay, if I'm not in Shiltrum, then they would just die anyways. Yeah, it's certain, but at least we're going to kill some of them, aren't we? One or two, maybe, or two percent. It's not too bad. Let's go on six times six. Only these two units are enough to kill me. <laughs> Shaken, still okay. Fighting to the death, and that's it. <laughs> Four percent of them. Well, I killed twenty-six. Everyone, every single one of them. It's a good, it's a good thing. Oh my God, so many orcs. I wish I had so many. You know, the Black Gate certainly doesn't have as much. You know. Oh well. Let's decline that ransom. And I'm gonna push against. Well, Elves of Lorien are certainly my next target. I won't be able to send two armies against them, but I'll just send one. And my third army is just arriving, so it's only a matter of a couple of turns here uh, until I stabilize things because of that attack on Rohan. 
Alright, I could get this guy. He's good at bring obedience. But I would prefer, you know, oh, yeah, that's a war. Right, I would prefer someone more loyal, so let's decline this guy. New mission set in Amroth. That's nice. Where's that army? It isn't here. And I don't know where the other Rohan army is, so I gotta be careful with that. Lucretman do think built some trolls which are going to go immediately on the top. On the top. And Minas Morgul built some dudes as well. Okay, we're still winning some money, so no problem with that. Let's go with Minas Morgul Guardians here. Right, end of turn, I'm still winning some money. Forces melt away, that was here, no problem. Section complete, Minas Morgul built some dudes, good, they can build some decent units. Uh, Amokan, certainly, oh, we can build the market, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And Tarnost cannot build anything, no problem, no problem. This dude is just going to go and move over to the city. Oh, we need to go from this area. Okay, this guy, should I merge here with the tyrant? Well, I'm just going to wait on that. Yeah, if he strikes me, no problem. This guy is certainly going to go over there. Four turns for Kalimbel. Three turns for Edelhond. That's perfect. That's that's pretty much the end of any Gondor's ambitions here. Uh, nothing here. Let me just check one thing up. Where is that army from Rohan? Alright, so I'm just going to keep away... Keep, uh, keep an eye on this Rohan army so far. Doesn't seem like they managed to do anything with it. So I can move in against this force. These guys can just go back. Let me make sure this guy is also going back. Alright, I could... I should actually just build up a watchtower here. That's it. Pretty nice. And go back to Galabrin. These guys, let's just push forward. That's it. I knew the orc archers wouldn't be able to go in. And that's it. Perfect stuff. Perfect stuff. So we're still pretty well against the Sylvan Elves. Where's my... Scout on my spy. Let me check. Is there anything around here? Doesn't seem like it. The Dol Guldur. Oh, he's going to be protected because I'm pro uh, arriving with these guys. And um, what else can I check out here? Where is that Sil that Lorien Elves army? I don't know where they are. Right. Where's my spy? Hi there. That's it. Let's keep pushing. Keep pushing. Let's... well, honestly, I gotta go over here. Gotta go over there, gotta keep besieging it. 30k population, well, I'm gonna sack that settlement, and that's gonna give me so much money, I won't be able to know what to do with it. Right, so far, so good, I'm moving in everyone that I needed. Uh, not exactly the best thing, considering that we lost one... Um, well, I gained, perhaps, an enemy. And I lost one enemy because, this well, Gondor is, doesn't, is no, of no importance whatsoever right now. Right. Just gonna check out and make sure that we don't get uh, surprised right. anywhere. I won't push through this area. I'd rather push through here, through Edoras, and go immediately into Isengard's territory as well. Into Rohan's territory, actually. First. Right, nothing that I can do here, although in a couple of turns I will be having some more, well, not actually, yeah, eight turns, I will have some more, let's retrain these guys, and just end up the turn, because I'll be able to yeah, kill this army with enough. this guy, and yeah, that's it, I'll still have plenty of money, I don't know, honestly, I don't know, but I've moved everything that I needed, yeah. moved everything that I needed, Right, so Karis Galadon. Well, if we can get Karis Galadon, there will be nice. Let us try words <laughs> and not war for a change. Okay, if they want a ceasefire, I want money. I want a lot of money, 
and I want some settlements. Let's see if they would go for that. Some 2,000 gold and give a region. What do you have as regions? Something like this. Would you take it? No, very demanding. <laughs> Let me see how much money can I ask for them. Because if I can, you know, I could exploit them for the money. Let me just, yeah, let me just ask for 10k. I don't know. Would they take it? <laughs> Generous. <laughs> so what do you think, guys? Should I exploit the AI? <laughs> Honestly, come on, it just feels so cheap. No, I'm not going to take that. I'm not going to go for that. Very just close well. this call. Just That's so cheap, guys. Whenever they ask for a ceasefire, ask for whatever you want, they will give you. <laughs> it just feels bad, you know. I don't know how they make the maths for it. But it just feels bad. I, I would feel like I'm, I'm cheating, guys. It's almost as if I'm using, you know, uh, well, cheats for money. <laughs> Which I don't want to use. Okay, now, let's decline there. So I don't know where the Sylvan Elves are. But certainly they will have some troubles because I'm approaching with two armies there. Now where's that Rohan army? I'm guessing it's still going against Isengard. Yeah, okay, pretty well. So I just have to keep this spy here. Making sure that we're not surprised. Then I have this spy here and this other scout here. Good. So there's no problem. Relation is good with these guys. Rune and Dale stopped fighting each other. Dol Guldur retrained some units. And I have no money. Amazing. I have no money. I'm losing so much money. And I'm gonna lose a little bit more. <laughs> right. Certainly, Karis Skeleton will stop fighting there. Let's maintain the siege. Let's. I honestly think I only need rams on this city. Let's check out. I would like to know where his cities, where his guys are. So they're not in the navy. So this army has arrived and it can defend. So I guess I can actually go and push to set an armor with this dude. Yeah, why not? Keep pushing. I have some forces. Have some additional troops. That's it. Let's keep moving over here. That's it. Right, this is a dude that I want. Yeah, hi there, dude. Let's keep pushing. Keep moving over there. Keep moving here. Good, they're gonna go over to Iraq. That's two turns over there. And then I'll have some more forces. Uh, what else can I do? Can I move these guys away right now? Tarnos! You're still silly. Silly against me. Let me check. Well, maybe they will be better. I could move my capital to minister it's not yet. Only when I capture Rohan's territory would that make any Let's sense at all. Let me check, can I move this guy? Oh, good! So these guys were all reinforced here. That's perfect. Perfect stuff. In the meantime, Harad is also pushing forward with some dudes. Let's check out. Any other cities nearby? Honestly, I'm not aware. I think not. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Um, I think after Longland there's actually nothing too fancy here. Just capturing a, capturing a couple more towns. That will do the trick. And for now we're pushing on Karis Galandon and Seren Amroth. And I'm having these spiders as, you know, checking out. Uh, troops, honestly. Alright, we are still having fun here. We are going to have better troops to defend. That's good. We're going to have all of these dudes. So, perfect stuff. Perfect stuff. Uh, yeah, let's end up to turn, just making sure that we are pushing everything. Good. So, I'm besieging Karis Galadon. It's going to take nine turns now. Kind of hope. I kinda hoped that the Lordian Elves would strike me with that other army so that I would be... Oh, there we go. What is this? These are some Lordian Rangers. Should I go against them with the Great Spiders? Or should I keep them? You know... I don't know if I can kill them with just six spiders. Honestly, I don't think so. Let's withdraw the battle. At least... Oh, they're gonna fight me. 
Can I withdraw again? I cannot withdraw. Let's fight it and see what we can do. Let's see what we can do against some Norians. Maybe I can just, you know, wear them down. These are elves. Uh, but maybe I can just wear them down and uh, kill a couple of them. Certainly I will kill a couple of them. Are you alone? Right, so, alright, I can go here. And where are their forces? Here. Hi there. Right, so I can go here. Yeah, these are Lorian Rangers, so they are a little bit better. You know, where are my spiders? Right, capture them. Let's go. Oh, hang on. Let's see it. That's it. We all killed two of them. Not the best one, honestly. They didn't do too much charge. They kill a couple of them, but not not as many as I thought. Yeah, they will kill me easily. Look at that. They're not even gonna lose. Yeah, they're not even gonna lose anything here. <laughs> they lost seven against six spiders. <laughs> Oh boy. And I was thinking, oh, maybe I can kill a couple of them. <laughs> that was a mistake. Well, I managed to, you know, scout a little bit, but not the information that I wanted. I wanted to know where the big army is. Oh, it might have spawned there near that watchtower that you're watching here. Uh, you know, right on the north of the woods there. On the tip of the woods there, I might have gotten... Hmm. That's interesting. Let's see, am I losing money? No, I'm winning, but just a little bit. So no, let's decline. Not do anything else. Yeah. No point using that money for anything. Right, let's keep watching here. There's no Rona army. He's moving in with a couple of armies now. But honestly, I should go here. Oh, going through that area? That's nice. Yeah, that's it. You reached Dogutu. That's good. Let me just check out. Right, so that's from them. I don't want to approach too much because that can be difficult. Uh, this guy, hi there. Let's go over there. Uh, where's the spy that was nearby? Alright, you sir. You're gonna check out on this side. That's where I need you. Stay right there. So, so far so good. We're gonna be over here. Edelhorn is gonna fall. Surrender one turn. The wreck is gonna be mine as well. That will draw some armies away. Uh, that Kalimbel will also be mine. And that, that means that I'll be able to start pushing over right away at Edras. That's gonna be cool. Pushing Edras and then Old Book here, going a little bit back. There's gonna be a stack there, so I gotta be careful. Um, then maybe I can start pushing forward properly. You know, this army is going to defend Valkutur. Actually, one, two, three, Four, four better units, so these guys are gonna go away. Hang on a second. Get away. Get away there. And you have four units. Perfect. That's it. That's a lot of good troops. A lot of them, actually. These guys are just gonna go out. There's a lot of orc bands here, but no problem. They will do the trick. As always, they will do the trick. Uh, so these small spiders, I don't need them there. Yeah, right? They will act as, you know, just some scouting information. I don't need them too much. So on the next turn, I'm gonna capture Edelhorn here. He'll probably strike me down with all his forces, and I'll crush them and push over to Londgalen. I guess, I guess that would be a nice idea. Or not. If I stopped at the Edelhorn, then Harad would go against Londgalen. That will block me and make sure that you know, I wouldn't have too much trouble against Condor. And then I will focus on Edras, on Rohan. I would capture everything here and just go and squeeze them out from over here. That will break, you know, that will mean that these two armies would be uh, pretty much safe against whatever Lordian, the Lordian Elves are doing. 
Yeah, so that's a good idea. And in the meantime, Dolgodor is already protected. Perfect stuff, guys. So, I guess that will be it for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Cheers!